EHC Montreal ERP simulation games are powered by ERP Sim software. ERP Sim is a unique business simulation technology developed at HEC Montreal that enables the simulation of near real life business contexts of large corporate information systems. ERP Sim is compatible with SAP technology, so participants have to use a real ERP system like they would in a real business context. The ERP Sim software essentially serves three functions. First, it provides the simulation of a market for buyers so that the participants playing the game have a reasonable market that responds just like the one in the real world. Secondly, ERP Sim automates many of the business functions that are non-decision making functions and simple administrative tasks. Third and final aspect that ERP Sim provides is the simulation of the passing of time. The objective of the simulation games is for participants to operate the full business cycle and experience the value of up and downstream information flows through a real world IT system. Experience process integration across functional silos to understand the impact of not making a decision in time or how a poor decision can impact the follow-on of a business cycle. By experiencing the simulation, participants really get to understand what it really takes to operate a real company in an integrated system as opposed to a simulated environment that only focuses on strategy. There are two core games that will be available for the 2009-2010 academic year of the HEC Montreal ERP simulation game. The first game is one oriented around the SAP best practices to do with wholesale distribution. The second game is oriented around SAP best practice for discrete manufacturing. A significant new addition to this year's version of ERP Sim is the introduction of a brand new distribution game. In this game, participants will buy and sell bottled water to small corner stores in the German market. The distribution game is all about selling bottled water in the German market. It consists of 60 simulated days split into three rounds of 20 days each. This game is designed to be played in two to three hours and is perfectly suited for single lecture use in courses such as introductory MIS classes. The distribution game is designed to be played by teams of two to four students each. This game can support up to 26 simultaneous teams playing the game, or potentially over 100 students. This game is freely available to all members of the SAP University Alliance, and the associated teaching materials for this game will be made available through the SAP University Alliance portal. The discrete manufacturing game is all about producing and selling muesli to the German market. This game is designed for teams of 46 people and can scale to run up to 26 simultaneous teams. The game is played over a succession of rounds, each consisting of 30 simulated days. This game can be played in two different scenarios. The first scenario is a simple introductory game designed for quickly introducing students to the core concepts and business processes as captured in the SAP system. The second scenario, or extended version of the game, has wider scope to further explore SAP functionality and business process. The discrete manufacturing game is suited for integration into the complete curriculum of a longer course. The introductory game is designed to introduce students over one or two classes to key SAP concepts, navigation, business process, and essentially ramp them up in a fun way in getting introduced to the game. The extended game is then where they will continue on in the rest of the course curriculum to explore deeper and wider SAP concepts and business process. The discrete manufacturing game comes with a full participant guide. This participant guide is distributed through Pearson Education. By purchasing the participant's guide through Pearson Education, students will have access to the full ERPSIM learning portal. Faculty who teach students that purchase the participant's guide through Pearson Education will also have access to special materials and all the student materials on the ERPSIM learning portal. Effectively, the one person per team who makes the purchase through the Pearson website has the rights to distribute six copies of the participant's guide one for themselves and five for their fellow team members. The purchase through the Pearson website enables access to the game and its associated materials for a period of up to four months or three discrete simulation games. The discrete simulation game 
is essentially a game that can be played over more than one session and more than one class, provided it is the continuation of the same simulation. Any new simulation that the faculty begins will require re-entry of the Pearson authorization information to begin the new simulation and will count towards the total count of three games per purchase instance. The participant's guide for the discrete manufacturing game is separated into three sections. Section 1 contains the business context, the company structure, and information about the German muesli market. It also contains the material to support teaching the introductory game. The second section is oriented towards the extended game and covers more detail about the business process, business decisions to make in those processes, information on financial reporting and controlling, as well as a section on business analytics. Section 3 contains information about how to enter and maintain master data associated with the Muesli company that formulates the discrete manufacturing game. For the next academic year, we will also be making available new chapters on the ERP Sim Learning Portal that are oriented towards teaching students how to configure business rules and business process within SAP. These chapters cover configuration on how to recreate the organizational elements and business rules associated with the Muesli Discrete Manufacturing Game. Faculty who wish to obtain these and try this new learning curriculum are free to do so by acquiring those materials from the ERP Sim Learning Portal. For those of you who are already familiar with our Muesli game, you should be aware that there are a couple of changes at the client level. Where we used to have two clients, one to play the game and one for the configuration of master data, these two have been included in a single client by using different organizational element names to separate the two. So there is no longer a need to request two clients. Secondly, we now have 26 organizations or companies configured for running the game, meaning you can run more teams as well as rerun games using unused teams on the same client. The new distribution game, given that it is a different business context and different associated business rules and process, has a new client or a new SAP client associated with it. Depending on which game you wish to use in your curriculum, you must request the correct client associated with each game. For those faculty who are already familiar with the game from prior academic years, you will be interested to learn about the new features in this year's version of the game. We have introduced warehouse costs, the ability to make additional investment decisions, uh, enhancements and changes to the marketing model, revisions and enhancements to existing reports, as well as new reports. We have also added a Microsoft Access Data Mart tool so that BI teaching concepts can also be explored. Access to the HEC Montreal ERP simulation game is via the SAP University Alliance and hosted by the SAP University Alliance University Competency Centers around the world. For details about how to join the University Alliance and which UCCs around the world host the game, please visit the SAP University Alliance website. Every year, HEC Montreal hosts the International Contest of the ERP Simulation Game. This contest brings the best students who have played ERP Sim during the academic year together to compete head-to-head -head for the crown title of who are the ERP Sim champions of the world. Registration for the fourth international game will be available later this year.